G'day wildlife enthusiasts! Welcome to another thrilling episode where we explore the wonders of the natural world. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of snakes, those enigmatic and often misunderstood creatures that have fascinated humans for centuries. Specifically, we're focusing on two of the most iconic serpents, the King Cobra and the Indian Cobra. These two species are not only remarkable in their own right but also hold a special place in the lore and legends of many cultures. Imagine these titans locked in battle. Who would win? It's a question that has intrigued herpetologists and snake enthusiasts alike. The king cobra, known for its impressive size and potent venom, versus the Indian cobra, famed for its agility and equally dangerous bite. It's a question that sparks curiosity and sends shivers down your spine. The very thought of these two powerful predators facing off is enough to make anyone's heart race. Now before we get into the nitty gritty remember folks, encounters between these snakes are incredibly rare in the wild. They inhabit different regions and have distinct behaviors that usually keep them apart. They usually steer clear of each other. The king cobra, with its preference for forests and dense undergrowth, and the Indian cobra, often found in more open areas, rarely cross paths. But let's for a moment indulge in this hypothetical showdown and see what we can learn about these amazing creatures. By comparing their physical attributes, hunting strategies, and survival tactics, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the unique adaptations that make each species so formidable in its own right. The king cobra, the world's longest venomous snake, can grow up to 18 feet in length. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin that can kill an elephant. The Indian cobra, while smaller, is no less dangerous. Its venom contains a mix of neurotoxins and cardiotoxins that can cause paralysis and death within hours. When it comes to hunting, the king cobra is a specialist in preying on other snakes, including its own kind. It uses its keen sense of smell and excellent vision to track down its prey. The Indian cobra, on the other hand, has a more varied diet, feeding on rodents, birds, and other small animals. In a defensive situation, both snakes have their own unique strategies. The king cobra raises up to a third of its body off the ground, flaring its hood and hissing loudly to intimidate threats. The Indian cobra, with its iconic hood and striking posture, is equally intimidating. While a direct confrontation between these two snakes is unlikely, Understanding their behaviors and adaptations helps us appreciate the incredible diversity of life in the animal kingdom. So, next time you think about these fascinating reptiles, remember that each has its own role to play in the delicate balance of nature. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of snakes. Stay tuned for more exciting wildlife adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious. First up, the King Cobra, the longest venomous snake in the world. These guys can grow over 18 feet long, that's longer than a car, mate. They're not called King for nothing. Their venom is a potent neurotoxin, targeting the nervous system. King Cobras are known for their intelligence and agility. They're active hunters, mainly feasting on other snakes, even other venomous ones. That's right, they're basically the ultimate snake-eating snake. Talk about a scary thought. Now for the Indian Cobra, a creature that has fascinated and terrified people for centuries. This snake is a symbol of power and fear across India, often appearing in folklore and mythology. These beauties are smaller than their King Cobra cousins, averaging around 6 feet in length, but don't let their size fool you. Despite their relatively modest size, Indian Cobras are incredibly formidable. Their agility and speed make them efficient hunters. Their venom packs a punch. A single bite can deliver a potent neurotoxin that can paralyze and even kill their prey. One of the most iconic features of the Indian Cobra is its hood, which it flares when threatened. This display is both a warning and a defense mechanism. The combination of their flared hood and loud hiss is enough to send chills down anyone's spine. It's a clear signal to stay away. Indian Cobras are incredibly adaptable, thriving in a variety of habitats. They can be found in dense forests, open fields, and even urban areas. They are also excellent swimmers, often found near water sources where they hunt for fish and amphibians. Their interactions with other wildlife are fascinating to observe. They are both predators and prey, playing a crucial role in the ecosystem. In rural villages, Indian cobras are sometimes encountered by locals, and they have a complex relationship with humans. Snake charmers often use them in their performances, adding to their mystique. Scientists and herpetologists study these snakes to understand their behavior, venom composition, and role in the environment. 
Their research helps in developing anti-venoms and conservation strategies. Conservation efforts are crucial for the Indian cobra, as habitat loss and human encroachment threaten their populations. Protected areas and wildlife sanctuaries provide safe havens for these remarkable reptiles. The Indian cobra, with its deadly charm and fascinating behavior, continues to captivate and intrigue us. It's a reminder of the delicate balance of nature and the importance of respecting all creatures, great and small. So we've got two incredibly venomous snakes, both capable of delivering a fatal bite. The king cobra boasts a larger size and a more potent venom, while the Indian cobra is more agile and adaptable. It's like comparing a heavyweight boxer with a lightweight ninja. The heavyweight has the power, but the ninja has the speed and agility. Who will prevail? It's a tough call, but let's delve deeper. Section 5. The King's Advantage. Size and Strength. In a head-to-head -head battle, the King Cobra's size and strength would give it a significant advantage. It could easily overpower the Indian Cobra and deliver a fatal bite. Plus, their venom, oh boy, it's a cocktail of neurotoxins that can shut down the nervous system in no time. Imagine being injected with a paralyzing agent, that's what it's like. The Indian Cobra, despite its agility, would be hard-pressed to escape the King's grasp. Section 6. A battle rarely joined, respect among serpents. Now here's the thing folks, when we think of snakes, especially the mighty King Cobra and the Indian Cobra, we often imagine fierce battles and deadly encounters. But the reality is quite different. In the wild, these snakes are more likely to avoid each other than engage in a fight. It's a fascinating aspect of their behavior that many people don't realize. They're both intelligent creatures and understand the risks involved. A fight between two powerful serpents could result in serious injury or even death for both parties. And in the wild, an injury can be a death sentence. It's all about survival. And sometimes the best way to survive is to avoid unnecessary conflict. These snakes have evolved to recognize the value of self-preservation over confrontation. Think about it. If you're a snake, would you rather risk getting injured in a fight or spend your energy hunting for food and finding a mate? It's a no-brainer, right? The energy expended in a fight could be better used for more productive activities. This mutual respect among serpents is a testament to their intelligence and adaptability. They have learned that coexistence is often more beneficial than conflict. By avoiding each other, they ensure their own survival and maintain the balance of their ecosystem. These snakes have their own territories and routines. They hunt, mate, and go about their lives with a remarkable sense of purpose. The King Cobra, for instance, is known for its impressive hunting skills and its ability to take down prey much larger than itself. The Indian cobra on the other hand is revered in many cultures and is often associated with mythology and folklore. Despite their fearsome reputation, these snakes play a crucial role in controlling the population of rodents and other pests. So the next time you think of these magnificent creatures, remember that their world is not just about battles and venom, it's about survival, respect, and the delicate balance of nature. These serpents have much to teach us about the importance of coexistence and the wisdom of avoiding unnecessary conflict. In the grand tapestry of life, every creature has its place and purpose. The King Cobra and the Indian Cobra are no exception. Their story is one of respect, intelligence, and the timeless dance of survival in the wild. And that, folks, is the true essence of respect among serpents. Section 7 and the winner is a hypothetical showdown. But let's be honest, we all want to know who would win in a hypothetical showdown. Based on size, strength, and venom potency, the King Cobra would likely emerge victorious. However, it's important to remember that this is just speculation. In the unpredictable world of nature, anything can happen. The Indian Cobra's agility and adaptability could surprise us. Section 8. Conservation is key protecting both champions. Ultimately, the most important thing is to appreciate these incredible creatures and work towards their conservation. Both the King Cobra and the Indian Cobra face threats from habitat loss and human-wildlife conflict. By learning about these snakes and spreading awareness, we can all play a part in ensuring their survival for generations to come. Remember folks, respect all creatures, great and small. Crikey, what a wild ride!